Hello, my name is Pei Ling Lin and I'm the violist of the Telegraph Quartet. Um, this week the quartet has been releasing one video a day um, just sharing how the members are getting ready to come back for our first rehearsal after a long break um, due to the shelter in place order. So uh, today I'll be sharing my perspective uh, using the Robert Ocean Quartet, the second movement. So one of the first things I do is to make myself a cup of coffee. Um, just to get ready to practice and it's important you practice happily. And this is one of the things that make me, makes me happy. So coffee first. It's something that we've played um, quite a few times. Um, so for uh, to bring back an old piece like that, um, there are a, a few places that you already kind of know that you, you want to touch and kind of um, just relearn it a little bit and explore new possibilities. Um, the beginning is it's just like a treasure box. There's endless things that you can do. Um, but one thing uh, I like to kind of figure out is that the timbre pits there's so many different colors oh i need to cut my nails mm. okay so my fingernails are trimmed and um i think i'm ready to go there's uh not a better reminder of the second movement of rabel to tell you to cut your fingernails for a good sounding pit all right so such a, um, a firecracker. Um, unfortunately, you don't hear that much of a, a melody in the viola part because, you know, it's one of the inner voices, but you can still feel a very strong dance element uh, right at the beginning. That's, that's kind of caused by the accent. And uh, one thing I'd like to explore and just look into is how we can use a different contact point of the pits, meaning how close you really move to the bridge or how close do you go to the fingerboard because it'll sound so different. And what I kind of like to do is that when you have the, the accented note, the first note is an accented note. I like to get a, a little bit more of a, a resonance in, in the pits so I play a little bit more on the fingerboard and then move closer to the bridge. Yeah, so then that way you sort of get um, uh, not just an accent meaning louder notes, but you also get the, the sound itself to be different. So there is a, a place that the viola kind of um, exchange melodies with the first violin. Um, it's a very essential melody, but it's a pain to play, in my opinion. Um, it's just a way here on the G string, on the viola, it, it doesn't naturally project. So then you want to figure out marked pianissimo um, so you probably want to figure out a way to play it uh, with a, a, a sound or a color that's going to rise above the group um, yeah, so that's another spot that I 
usually will hit whenever we try to bring this piece back. Um, and of course, there are many, many other little things that, you know, everybody can just spend hours talking about. Thanks for watching, and please stay tuned tomorrow um, for the release of the whole quartet playing the second movement of Ravel Shen Quartet. Um, and we also have our very first virtual concert coming up this Sunday, playing the whole piece, uh, hosted by the Go Coast Chamber player.